blackfacts.com presents Caribbean revolutionaries Maurice Bishop Maurice Bishop, revolutionary and Grenadian prime minister, was born in Dutch Aruba May 29, 1944. He moved to London, UK, in 1963 and attended the University of London for his law degree. He went on to practice law for two years in London, showing much interest in politics. He founded a law practice in St. George's and became involved in left-wing movements supporting the current revolution in neighboring Trinidad and opposing the current autocratic Grenadian government of Eric Gehry. In 1972 he organized the Movement for Assemblies of the People (MAP), which merged with the Joint Endeavor for Welfare, Education and Liberation (JUEL) in 1973 to become the new JUEL movement NJM. The NJM proclaimed independence for Grenada in 1974. Bishop joined Granada's parliament in 1976 in opposition of Gary's government. On March 13, 1979, Bishop and fellow revolutionaries seized control of the government and Bishop named himself prime minister. They claimed it would be a Marxist government modeled after Fidel Castro's Cuba. Bishop instated many improvements to the country's social and economic systems, and helped Granada remain prosperous as nearby countries struggled through the early 1980s. A committee of the PRG claimed Bishop had falsely rumored of an assassination attempt, and placed him under house arrest on October 12, 1983. A week later he was released by his supporters and marched to give an address, but was captured by the opposition and executed by firing squad with five loyal PRG members. Six days later United States troops entered Grenada to subdue the turmoil. Today Maurice Bishop is still regarded as a hero in Grenada, despite his controversial politics. His government was known to disregard human rights, but he is generally celebrated for his popular interest in island independence and for his economic policies. Learn more at blackfacts.com.